Hello girls, it's Thursday! Doctor Who. Yes, I could also talk about this forever. Uh, I have been watching it since 2005, I think it was, but I think I missed I missed the first series when it was airing. I didn't see it, uh, I had to download it afterwards, but I watched it sort of the year it came out and then was caught up to date when the second series started. I didn't have an issue with the first episode. I think it was a good one to introduce it. I mean, they were still getting their feet and they didn't really know what was going on, so I actually quite enjoyed that episode. Probably because Rose is my favourite companion. She always has been, I've always had a soft spot for Rose. Mainly because I really, really like the chemistry between her and the Doctor, whether it be the ninth or the 10th. And uh, you know, maybe we can get a bit of a Rose 11 going on, because that'd be excellent. I liked it because in interviews, Russell T Davis has said that he made her character be the perfect companion. That was the point she was supposed to be the perfect companion to the Doctor post Time War. I did enjoy the romantic side of it. I fall for romantic relationships in television I just sort of latch onto them and this was the one I thought this was excellent. Other companions of note that are my favourites, Rory. I love Rory, I think he is excellent, he's a really really lovely man and just Arthur Darville is fantastic. And in fact once Amy and Rory got married and once Rory started travelling around on the TARDIS with the Doctor I preferred the character of Amy a lot more because I didn't really like it to begin with again because there was this romantic thing, sort of, but not really, and that frustrated me. I also love, love, love Donna. I think Catherine Tate is amazing. I've watched her sketch show and so we knew of her beforehand. And, um, oh, it was excellent. I know a lot of people don't like it because they said that series was more comedic, but I thought it was kind of what it needed after a while of seriousness, and I think Donna was the perfect antidote to Martha and the the terrible heart-wrenching storyline that was Rose. So um, I, I've really enjoyed, really, really enjoyed Donna as a companion. Favourite monster? Jen, I'm going to have to agree with you here. I uh, adore the Daleks. They are my favourite without a doubt. I think they're brilliant. I'm not scared of them, uh, which I think is probably <laughs> not really what you want in a monster. I should probably be terrified of them. But I just think they're excellent. I mean, I love their voices and how they're so stupidly shaped. I mean, who on earth thought of that for a, a monster? Like, they're, they're useless before they learned how to fly. I mean, they couldn't even get upstairs. What kind of a monster can't get upstairs? But, ah, oh, I just like that there's a long-standing history between the Doctor and the Daleks, and I just love how they've, they've got their own personalities, even though they aren't really supposed to. I, I'm not so sure about these rejuvenated, brightly coloured ones. I think that that sort of detracts from how frightening they're supposed to be. But I like the bronze ones and uh, also the black Dalek that came in. My friend and I got a bit obsessed with Dalek Thay and Dalek Sek. They're just incredible. The, the scariest monster, I would probably say, is either the Silence or the Weeping Angels. And I think that's just because the Silence you forget. And I think the episode in which you see all the characters with the numbers drawn across them is terrifying because you just forget what you've seen. And the Weeping Angels, obviously, because you just can't look away, and I think when you can't look away from something, it becomes much scarier. Okay, favourite Doctor. I can't actually choose between 10 and 11. I think most people who watch Doctor Who have agreed 9 was not the best Doctor, because I suppose it was the immediate post-war Doctor. There was obviously going to be parts of his character that weren't particularly likeable. So I don't necessarily think it's the way he was written or portrayed, I just think it's the kind of place that they made him be in that makes him less appealing to an audience. David Tennant I thought was just fabulous. He was manic and had this stupid energy and could just run around and not look like an idiot and had a really cool suit as well. I was devastated that David Tennant was leaving. Uh, not too sure about this Matt Smith character, but I love him, like uh, he's uh, really warmed me as a, an actor playing the Doctor, I think Eleven is sort of, you can see the progression from where Nine was, which was you know quite a grumpy man, Ten slightly just getting there and you know finding Rose and then going through the other characters and, and he was full of energy but there was still that darkness about him and then you get to the Eleventh Doctor and Matt Smith and uh, he's, he's even more manic than uh, usual. I'm not sure if that's a good thing about him or a bad thing, but it's just very entertaining to watch. I think he's excellent. I just really like them both and I can't actually choose between the two, so I am not going to. 
I have a lot of favourite episodes. Series 2 is my particular favourite, that's the only one I've actually got on DVD which is shocking but there it is. So I, uh, I just love it, there are so many that I like. Uh, Idiot's Lantern, I think that is spectacular. Tooth and Claw, um, Queen Victoria is excellent, I love the setting and the storyline. I also like that they mentioned Bad Wolf, I loved the Bad Wolf story arc, I thought that was fantastic, so anything that mentions that is pretty much bound to be a favourite of mine. Doomsday of course, which was terribly terribly sad, and I can remember going to school the next day and we were all just sobbing about it, like it took so much to prepare ourselves to actually watch it. Similar to this new Sherlock episode actually, and uh, it was not disappointing, I was in floods of tears, it's probably one of the saddest <laughs> episodes that I've watched and uh, I adore it. Turn left, I loved because Rose was back but also Donna was there being, just the combination of everything was excellent. And then the Pandora opens, Amy's Choice and Let's Kill Hitler are particular favourites from this 11th Doctor series. I don't actually have a favourite in the Martha series because I don't particularly like that series. So that was my great big long monologue on Doctor Who. I'm so tired, I've been up since half five this morning, so sorry if I am all over the place. I probably am actually, not sure what I'm saying now. It's been lovely seeing you, what your views were, I really liked it, I just love listening to anything to do with Doctor Who to be honest. And so Michelle, I look forward to hearing yours tomorrow.